Okay, this app is uh, called Times Tables, Little Monkey Apps, Times Tables. Uh, three um, things on the screen, link to the website, link to the medals that you've collected, and I'll show you that later. And um, obviously, this is the play button. Let's see. Okay, so there's a countdown. All right. Basically, this is a chart that around grade four would use. Uh, we've got a timer down here. Uh, back to the home screen. This pencil button is a check button, which I'll show you in a moment. And this one's a reset. So uh, this is the button here that might be quite frustrating that if you accidentally press it in the middle of a, of a timed activity that uh, you might get a little bit frustrated. So basically, it's a table, nine times eight, press the button, um, or eight times nine. Um, card comes up nine times eight put I'm going to put in the wrong answer 20 23 annoying beep button but you can turn that on off um, okay comes up yellow let's do an easy one one times nine nine okay now I'm just clicking in pressing the okay button um, you can press anywhere you want uh, make a mistake obviously you can't put in more than four digits so clear button um, uh, little annoying music oh. so you can go back into it if you wish to change your answer now here's where um, you can use the pencil to have a little sneak peek the green ones obviously are correct and the red ones are incorrect so you can go back in and change it. Um, now this isn't for teaching tables, this is about speed and accuracy, um, drill and rote rather than actual teaching so um, that's why there's no three step etc. So obviously uh, you actually need to know your tables before you um, begin this one. Okay, so I'm going to check again. And as I said, if you press this one, pretty annoying um, if you did that in the middle of the game. But in saying that, you might only do it once or twice. <laughs> um, you'll notice that um, table only gets placed in once, um, either across the bottom and down the side, um, and every game is. Um, is different. Okay, one of the other features I haven't shown you um, is that instead of pressing the OK button, um, you can simply press Next and it remembers um, I'm filling out the top row. You might be able to see it behind here. Um, so for those real speed demons, and that's really what it's for. It's really for being nice and speedy. When it gets to the end of the row, it closes. Um, put in some dodgy answers. Once again I pressed OK so let's see if we can use the arrow again. Okay, once again, got to the end of the row and uh, it brought us back to the screen. One of the strategies that uh, some children use is that they do the easy ones first. Um, and that is a, is a good way of getting the easy ones out of the way or working. Now I'm just going to skip this one and we'll see what happens when we uh, get back to the main grid. Okay, so it's taken me on. I'm not too sure why.
trying to get some right answers and some wrong answers in there just so I can show you. You can see the uh, squares going yellow behind there. Right, so this really isn't a calculator, even though that it says electronic calculator. It's um oh, didn't mean to do that. So we've got these ones ready. Let's just press the pencil. See what we've got right. Oh, so on the whole, I did pretty well. The game stops once you've finished all the squares. So let's just, oops. <laughs> let's just press in some numbers. Oh, really getting speedy now. What have we got left? Just one. Okay. Um, okay, so we finished the game. Shows us what's correct. Oh, okay, so we got oh we got two um, certificates there. We can view them again. Okay, so we got uh, that time there. Um, we did 60% uh, correct, 49 out of 81. We got 50% good and under five minutes for Speedster. Now you can uh, trash those and obviously start again on this lovely piece of paper home and link to the website.